You may kiss the bride. Not headbutt the bride. I said kiss the bride. It's called Gishwiz. G-I-S-H-W-H-E-S. What is this? The greatest international scavenger hunt the world has ever seen. It's an amazing global scavenger hunt that you can compete in from anywhere, even your own home. You can sign up and invite your own team of players from friends and family, or you sign up and we'll join you into an awesome team of players from all over the world. It takes place in August. I post a list of things for your team to do. You will have one week to complete as many items as you can. Take pictures and videos of what you complete and upload them on the site. You get points for everything you upload. The team with the most points wins. to create amazing and weird art, do courageous and hilarious activities, and do random acts of kindness. Thank you so much. Everything you do during Gishwiz wakes you up and it wakes the world up. Gishwiz is about bringing people together. Gishwiz participants have broken numerous Guinness World Records. amazing on an all-expense-paid trip with me. We've gone to Rome, Scotland, Vancouver, Croatia, Costa Rica, Iceland. And this year, we're going to... I've never been so confused and excited in my life. Stay sane until the end of Gishwiz. Alright, so this August, York is going to have a Gishwiz team. We have an official sign-up sheet that's gonna be on the student, it's gonna be on the student board. And if you want to be a part of it, put your name and your email on here. And we'll have a meeting as soon as we have filled all the spots. Only ten. member or a new inductee of the Classical Honor Society, please meet here at the beginning of lunch so we can do a quick run through of the ceremony tomorrow. It should only take like five minutes. Be there. Tomorrow, MU is having elections in room four. Make sure you get there at the very beginning of lunch. Uh, one minute uh, per speech and please talk to us. There's a lot of votes that people haven't signed up for, so it would be great if you mentioned something. Thank you. Want us to remind you that May 1st is coming up, so you need to put a deposit down at your college and then go talk to her for the exit thing. Um, <laughs> your girls across has a game today against Carmel at 4 o'clock, and we also have a game tomorrow against Salinas at 4 o'clock, and it will be all of our last games, so you should come and support us. Girls, get out or get out, don't get out of class early and change your work jobs. Thank you. This weekend, the past weekend, as well as being Festival of the Arts weekend, was also JSA's Spring State. Uh, we went, we had a great time, everybody did a great job. Tristan won a gallon. Uh, so today in Guild, we're bringing back a fan favorite. No, please stop complaining, I do not have the expansion sets. But today we're playing Settlers of Catan, and if you really don't care for this, I have a pack of cards. <laughs> And as well, tomorrow, Thursday, uh, track, I was about to say cross country, track has a meet at Carmel. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> uh, so basically, if you're going an early event, if you're doing shot, put 1600 to 400, and leave early, uh, leave, ask to leave your sixth period class, preferably today. And then if not, then you will go after school. Yeah.
Ladies and gentlemen, raise your hand if you've ever been to the Aviation Club. <laughs> that was a good show of hands, but uh, not, not that many of you. <laughs> uh, so because so few of you will come to listen to me talk about airplanes at lunch, Today, I decided to come here and talk about airplanes. Well, you, my <laughs> As soon as I stood up here alone today, everyone in this room probably knew that I was going to say something about airplanes. You were correct, of course. But today, I'm not only going to talk about airplanes, but also about myself, which means talking about how much I love airplanes. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is my sophomore speech. <laughs> at age three. No, four years ago, I didn't even know what a Bombardier Dash at 200 was. <laughs> the shocking truth is that before seventh grade, I was only mildly obsessed with airplanes. <laughs> and although I loved flying, I didn't want to fly the plane, which is probably a good thing. <laughs> my real obsession with airplanes began in the summer, before seventh grade, when my parents bought me an Android tablet. I scrolled through the game shop, trying to decide which apps I would download, become addicted to, and devote my life to. I picked well, or at least that's what I think. I tapped download and I had my first flight simulator. My interest in aviation quickly blossomed. Soon I got a full flight simulator on my desktop computer, and eventually I began taking flight lessons in a real airplane. I was ready to pursue a career in aviation, but I wasn't old enough to get my pilot's license. <laughs> Over the last several years, however, aviation has become more than a career option for me. It has become part of my identity. Aviation is a beacon of light. Uh, providing me with something to look towards when I'm feeling uncertain and giving me a sense of purpose. Aviation has provided me with a platform from which I can see for miles and miles around me, but also with a microscope with which I can learn to understand myself. Some people think that the world looks smaller from an airplane, but I think it looks much, much larger. Most people go about their lives on the ground, driving the same roads every day, constricted to the pavement where cars can drive. Humans can explore by biking, running, hiking, Although this provides a detailed view of the world directly around them, it only provides a tiny snippet. From the cockpit of an airplane, I can see a huge swath of terrain. I can see the roads that I drive on every day and everything that lies in between. I can see what lies over the hills that I look at every day from York and where our sunny little hilltop, not so sunny today, but uh, our happy little hilltop is situated in relation to the rest of the world around us. I can also see myself, where I fit in. My place is up in the sky, flying through the air and watching the earth unfold beneath me. This entire world was open to me by one download button. Sometimes a free tablet app can change your life, and I was not paid to say that. <laughs> seven people who signed up won't get to go unless we find a fourth. So if you are going or if your parents are free, can you please um, ask them if they can drive? And if they say yes, um, please send us an email or talk to us. Thank you. So last month it was my distinct pleasure to um, announce the winners from the Monterey County Science Fair, Regional Science Fair, um, that went on to the California State Science Fair, which was held last weekend. Um, I am just so proud of not only the fact that we sent three of York's finest scientists down to Los Angeles to compete 
at the California state level, which is one of the largest and most competitive states in the entire country, as you might imagine. But not only did we send three scientists for probably the first time that I can remember, I'm up here to announce that a clean sweep of three placements at the California State Science Fair with McKenna Gibson placing... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, McKenna. I'm so sorry, McKenna. Sorry, McKenna. Ah, McKenna Goodson, G-O-O-D-S-O-N. Good McKenna Goodson placing second in her category. Conducted by the American Association of Teachers of Spanish and Portuguese, this 90-minute exam is conducted over two class periods. Um, students compete at six different levels, one through six, in three different sort of divisions or areas. One is against, in a category of bilingual students, another one is against students with outside experience, and the final one is students with classroom experience. Um, we're proud to announce that well, of the 157 plus thousand students who took the exam this year across the country, 62 York students earned recognition um, for their uh, performance. At, we earned gold medals at five different levels of the six. For the first time ever, we had students compete at level six, as far as I know. Um, they earned 16 gold, 16 silver, 18 bronze, and 12 honorable mention awards. Um, only a thousand students, to give you an idea, in the country were able to compete at level six, and we had two of them. Um, so, to announce the results from level one, Senor Soto. Okay, level one, outside experience division. Oh, be before we start, sorry. Um, <laughs> because there's 62 students we're calling out, please stand uh, and remain standing when your name is called. And then afterwards, we'd like you, everyone who gets recognized to come up to the stage for a huge group picture. Thank you. Okay, so, level one, outside experience category, honorable mention to Stuart Carruthers. <laughs> yeah, hold your applause to the end. Hold your applause to the end, please. Uh, in classroom experience division, bronze medal to Toby Malone. In uh, an honorable mention to Leo Burt. Uh, okay. Level two, outside experience category, bronze me uh, medal to Hayden Concepcion Deo, and honorable mention to Lily Tran. Classroom experience category, gold medals, Jonathan Zhao, Alexa Ortiz, Albert Matei, all performing in the top 1% in the country. Jonah Cruz, Luke Rosenblum, Mateo Lawrence, all performing in the top 5% in the country. Thank you. Silver medals, Jordan Goodwin, Vian Storrs, Susanna Hoffman, Sophie Frumkin. I'm extremely impressed with Sophie last year. She was one point away from getting recognized this year. She came in with the silver. That's really impressive. Thank you. 
uh, Emily Pates, Rowan Sethi, and Jenny Liu. Bronze medal, Megan Capistrano, Luke Yandoli, Alana Shapiro, May Hope, um, Ali Dimitrov, and James Beck. Honorable mention, honorable mention, Kevin Kang, Michael Skolas. Level three. Okay, in level three, bilingual division, silver medal to Ulisa Flores Ibane. Uh, in outside experience division, silver medal to Sophie Rasmussen. And uh, bronze medal to Josefina Camacho. In classroom experience division, uh, Adam Shapiro, a gold medal, and he is in the one top 1%, so I mean, he's flying high also. <laughs> okay, so gold medal to Adam, in silver medals to Joseph Burks, Amy Cho, Lauren Marshall, Jack Wilden, and Kyle Worcester Moore. Did I pronounce that Worcester correctly? <laughs> okay, more or less. Not too bad for a Spanish teacher. And then, uh, bronze medals to Henriette Duth, Leica Dubori, Tristan Laney, and Mariah Peralta. And on honorable mentions, uh, also in classroom experience division to Maddie Liebman, uh, Jupiter, very smith, I made a mistake. Uh, Paolo Garcia, I mean, no, no, no. Paolo Garcia, Max Rosenbol Rosenblum, uh, Nicole Harrison, and Finn Berry. Spanish level four, bilingual category, gold medal, in the top 1% of the country, Jared Eldape. Yeah. Classroom experience category, uh, gold medal, uh, Katie Calciano, Emma Cushing in the top 1% of the country, Jill Lippman, Catherine Yeager in the top 2%, and Alisa Orquides uh, in the top 3%, also a gold medal. Silver medals at level 4, Arjun um, Mayer and Jojo McGuire. Bronze, bronze medals, Marisa Llewellyn, Joseph Ree, Lauren Sugar, Tali Auerbach, and Ariana Rye. Honorable mention, Cindy Chen. At level five, level five, we only have one student competing at level five. She earned a gold medal, Hannah Ray. And at level six, there are two students competing in the top 1% of the country at level six, Alden Sanford, and another gold medal to Liam Pham. <laughs> Invited to join and be inducted this year, and those of you who are already members, please try and meet here towards the tail end of lunch. Thank you. So, if you are in choir or chamber choir this year, or you hope to be in choir or chamber choir next year, uh, we need you to meet with Mr. Raymond and myself on Friday morning E Day here at 7:40. Seniors, I guess you're not here next year, so you're excused. All choir, chamber choir, 740 E Day, Friday. All right, afterward, we want all the Spanish people to come up here for a picture. Also, okay, really quick before we go, I am pleased to announce Teacher Appreciation Day on Friday during lunch. So you guys, we're gonna provide a lunch for you, it'll be good. <laughs> all right, so speaking of that, General Student Council, we're gonna need all of you guys to show up at lunch today. Do that, all right, go to class. <laughs> <laughs>